Ya, kita ke informasi lain pemirsa kawasan Northern Virginia yang bersebelahan dengan Washington DC merupakan salah satu konsentrasi diaspora Uighur di Amerika Serikat. Kecemasan akan punahnya bahasa Uighur akibat tekanan politik di provinsi Xinjiang Tiongkok mendorong diaspora Uighur mendirikan sekolah bahasa Uighur. My name is Irada Kashgari. I was born in East Turkestan and uh, my parents immigrated to the US when I was five years old. Sekitar 11 juta warga etnis Uighur tinggal di Provinsi Xinjiang di Tiongkok Barat. Banyak diaspora Uighur yang tinggal di luar Tiongkok menyebut Xinjiang sebagai East Turkistan atau Turkistan Timur dan menganggap tanah mereka dikuasai oleh Tiongkok. Uighur is completely banned in East Turkestan. There used to be um, bilingual schools where they would teach both Uyghur and Chinese at the same time, but now those have been completely shut down or only focused on Chinese. Bahasa dan budaya Uyghur mirip dengan budaya dan bahasa Turki, Uzbek, dan etnis lainnya di kawasan Asia Tengah. We decided to open an Uyghur school here in Northern Virginia because it does have one of the largest populations um, of the diaspora in this area. Our teachers, a lot of them got great education in Uyghur uh, back in East Turkestan. Because of the current climate there, they had to leave. And when they immigrated here, they didn't necessarily have a platform to continue teaching Uyghur. So uh, this has given them an opportunity to continue with their profession. I like learning it because if someone was talking Uyghur and they didn't want you to listen, and then you could actually know what they're saying, so. Yeah. I come here to learn Uyghur because back in East Turkestan, um, people are not allowed to learn Uyghur. How can I convert this one to me? I'm trying to learn the Uyghur alphabet and um, like a lot of other things, speech, pronunciation. We have one more. It's really important to preserve our language and to preserve our culture. So that's why I come here every Sunday, or at least I try to, so I can at least try to hold on to some of my culture and some of my language best as I can, even though I'm not there, you know, back home. I've always been proud of like who I am, like where my parents from, and I love our culture. And I also do traditional dancing, so like I just bond with it, like the culture a lot. I feel like it's like more of a need for us Uyghur kids that are not like back home to learn the language and like grasp our culture more, so it doesn't vanish.